G'day, it's Shane here from Wayne Grape TV, and thank you for joining me and helping me bring McLaren Vale wine to the world. Today I thought we'd do something a bit different. Too lovely a day outside to be sitting inside all day, and I uh, thought I would share my backyard with you. So welcome to my backyard. Two wines as per normal. <coughs> Excuse me. The first one is a Hazel Grove Primo Taglio, which means first cut. 2008 Chardonnay, which is a blend of Adelaide Hills and McLaren Vale Chardonnay. Um, Chardonnay seems to have become unpopular, I'd have to say, um, in recent times. But I still think it makes a wonderful wine, so I'm really looking forward to this. The uh, Primo... Oh, I get, better get this right. The Primo Taglio concept first cut means that it's free run juice. That's the concept behind first cut. So very much getting some melon here. It's interesting the uh, the information from the winery indicates uh, that a portion of the wine has been uh, fermented and aged in some oak and a portion of the wine was made separately as unoaked and then blended. So I'm not getting any real oak characters coming through. Maybe a little bit of tropical fruit. Definite melons. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. I must say I'm a believer that Chardonnay to be really good is uh, shouldn't be naked and when I mean that it should have some oak with it. Uh, this is certainly there's no oak monster there at all um, but you can tell that there is some oak treatment in there. There is some uh, those oak tannins just very very slight to give it a better mouth feel I think. Definitely melons, definitely some tropical fruit um, maybe some, some pineapple in there as well. Oh, that's a tropical fruit. Um, but a very, very nice well rounded Chardonnay from 2008. Yep. Yeah. That wood certainly has added some complexity, some extra mouthfeel. And you can't get those with just plain naked Chardonnay. So for me, no naked Chardonnay, just a little bit of wood, not those oak monsters, the big buttery um, ones that I remember from the uh, from the 80s, say. Um, but I certainly enjoy this wine. So the Hazel Grove Primo Taglio. Now Hazel Grove's interesting. Um, a year, 18 months ago, something of that order, they shut down their cellar door in McLaren Vale. Uh, they got new owners, and uh, the new owners have decided to take a different tact and uh, getting good fruit from different places. So they've got Adelaide Hills, so there's some Adelaide Hills in here. There's some Coonawarra in some of the other material, uh, not in this one. Uh, obviously McLaren Vale fruit. Uh, I've also seen uh, some Langhorn Creek, and there's some wines that are labelled southeast. Australia, so I'm expecting there's some Riverland fruit in there to produce wines at different price points, different styles. Um, but based on this, and this is my first wine that I've tried from that stable, uh, that's a pretty good start. Now, the second wine is a uh, Graham Stevens wine, Stevens the Arrogant Clean Skin, 2007 Shiraz Grenache. Now, the Arrogant Clean Skin. Where's that coming from? Well, Graham is very much against clean skin wines. He had a previous experience where somebody came to his cellar door, many, many years ago now, but somebody came to his cellar door and said, this wine you sold me uh, is unpalatable and uh, not acceptable when I want a replacement. Uh, Graham tasted the wine with the person involved and yes, the wine was unpalatable, but he was able to prove that the wine was not from his stable. 
Uh, and since then he's been very against clean skin wines because people can mix it up. You know, they get clean skins from different places and they don't really know where it's come from and, um, you know, has given him in a bad light to uh, at least one customer. And if there's one, you know there's more. So, dead against it. But, in the last 12 months, there's been a lot of people asking him about is there a lower quality wine that they could get, like a clean skin. So, he decided to make his clean skin, but his clean skin is not naked. I'm talking about nakedness today, aren't I? But the clean skin is not naked. So, it does have a label on it. It's got here, uh, arrogant. This wine rejects being stereotyped as a mere clean skin. When placed alongside other clean skins, it shows contempt for its classification and refused to go naked in front of its public. Let's see if it uh, measures up to uh, that introduction by the back label. Shiraz Grenache. I personally am a big fan of both varieties. I personally like the blend as well. So I'm really looking forward to this wine. There's a bit of plumminess, um, and then there's that really jammy, not jammy, sorry, that really juicy fruit, red fruits that you that uh, you can smell there, which I'm assuming comes from the from the Grenache. It has a very um, the back half of the aromas are very much McLaren Vale Grenache like, uh, which I said I like, so I'm really enjoying the aromas from this one. A little bit of perfumey coming through. And just a little hint of tingle on the nose, which means high alcohol. Now I know that it says 13.5% alcohol on the label. Um, but, taste, uh, but smelling this, uh, maybe, uh, well, my nose thinks it's a little bit more than that. I'm not saying my nose is right or wrong, that's just what my, what my nose is, is detecting. So let's give it a try. So the typical Shiraz flavouring of plums comes through there. Starts off quite plummy. The mid palate of that juicy fruit that I was talking about, that I was smelling on the nose, really comes through and that's coming from the Grenache. Just really love that. And then it really combines together on the finish. Um, there's a little bit of a red fruit, black fruit combination that you would expect from this blend. But I really get that on the back palate as it comes together. And there's just a hint of uh, tannins in there. So it's a reasonably soft wine, uh, but powerful in terms of fruit, soft in terms of tannin. There's good acid in there. Um, look, I, I really enjoy this wine. Uh, I don't taste a lot of clean skins around McLaren Vale. I've decided to uh, move away from clean skins. Um, reasonable amount, and of course bringing reviews to you, you don't want me to talk about clean skins all the time. But I must say that uh, that is probably in the top three clean skins that I have tried in the last six months from around McLaren Vale. So they've done a really good job there. It's not a big monster of a wine. There's nice fruit. Um, there is structure there. So uh, there's, there's enough tannin to create that structure, but not much else. Definitely a drink now wine. Um, nice big bit of pork, smothered with a fry up of onions, mushrooms, capsicum and tomatoes all in together and then as it's all melting in together put in some balsamic vinegar reduce that down almost to dryness and smother that over the top of the pork with a few glasses this would be lovely so an interesting couple of bottles of wine today just sitting out in my backyard which I thought I'd uh, share with everybody so thank you for joining me have a great week more importantly have a safe week and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.